for those of you who watch the show a lot, you know I'm kind of fond of guns, but this is a rare treat because we are looking at 150 plus years of military rifles just within three feet. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Maria Rossi Booth, and we are out here in this fabulous store, Jorgensen's. Uh, you know, you guys sell everything here. I, if anybody knows Jorgensen's, right? Including yes. bowling balls. Right? I mean, yeah, yeah, bowling balls too. But this is Todd, and he is one of the salesmen out here with the, uh, the gun department. And you set me up with this beautiful sports rifle. So we got you all set up on a. Yeah. On a 223, we put a Vortex scope on it. Yeah, I can't miss, right? No, no, no. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> let's, hope, let's hope I don't miss. <laughs> so, so Rhea just bought this gun, and it, it, is a, it is a close cousin to an AR-15, but it is set as a sport rifle. It's not, it's not a military one. But as far as looks go, we start with a, what we believe to be. And if there are any of, the, if there are any of you out there in, in our audience that know exactly what this gun is, please contact me and tell me, but we believe it is a Spencer, an early carbine that is at least Civil War in era or perhaps earlier. And then Todd, tell us about this one. So this is a Winchester model 1894. Which stands for the year they introduced it. Exactly. This particular rifle was actually built in 1911. It's chambered in 30 US. This gun started life out about two feet, two feet longer. Can you imagine that? Once, oh, once uh -huh. the war's over and the guys start bringing them home, they cut them down to make hunting rifles out of them. This one is a model 1917. Springfield Armory and Enfield made these guns, and it became so powerful in the First World War um, just because of this modified Mauser action. The only thing we're missing is an M1. Correct. And we've got everything from the 1960s all the way back to the 1860s. You don't sell used guns here, do you? Yes. We, you do sell used guns? This is actually a used gun. Oh. This gun's actually, this gun's on consignment from one of our customers. Cool. If anybody's interested in it, come down, check it out. There you go. We'll That's talk, neat. We'll talk guns. So how much stuff do you have here, Todd? We've got everything from 22 long rifles all the way up to 338 Lapuas. Yeah, you even have some for the kids, which is oh, a really good looking gun there. Yes, these are really fun guns. Single shot, that's all you're allowed to do. They offer them in this really nice wood stock that you like so much. Yeah, it's beautiful. But what's nice about these with little kids is you have to cycle the bolt, just like you do on a big kid gun, put one bullet in. There you go. Close it. Then they have to have the hand strength to pull that plunger back. That's perfect so, for the kids. Locks. Yeah, look at that. Yeah teaching them good gun safety at a young age. That's what it's all about. And most of your parents have to be there to pull that plunger. You bet. You better so, hope so this is actually really good. This is what our show is going to be about today, is not only taking a look at what Jorgensen's has to offer, but with Rhea's brand new gun, we're going to go down to the gun range and we're going to learn how to clean them, how to shoot them, how to be safe. And that's all coming up. But right now it's time for us to go away to our Where To Adventure. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We are out here with Todd Brannon from Jorgensen's uh, in Ridgefield. And Todd, you're going to show me how to shoot this puppy and how to set it up. And we're going to have some fun. You call it a giggle gun. Yes, they're, they're a lot of fun to shoot, really simple to operate. Um, you're going to shoot it, and you're going to find out why I call them a giggle gun. I can't wait to get, to get so, shooting. So hand me one of your magazines. All right. What I'd like you to do, you're going to take it just like this. Magazine's going to go straight in the bottom. Yep. Just with a little bit of force. Okay. We've talked about it earlier. There's the release button on the back side for your bolt. Push it or slap it. That gun is now loaded. So go ahead and shoulder your rifle. Okay. Like if you're gonna shoot it. Okay. Now with your thumb, you can switch that over to fire. Push that down. There. Our target is this very first white square sheet of paper. Okay. Yeehaw! Okay, go again. Now, do you want to see what makes that gun so fun? Yeah. Do it twice really fast. Holy <laughs> sheester! I love this thing! Now you know why it's called a giggle gun. Oh, this is so fun. And there is like hardly any kickback at all. It's like, this is amazing. Correct. Beautiful gun. Yeah. 
There's a few left, so watch. It's a whole new world. And that's, that's, you can shoot them fast, you can shoot them slow. Oh my gosh, that is so <laughs> exciting. Honey, thank you so much for buying this for me for my birthday. All right, now, let's take off and see what Chad's up to. He's somewhere on the shooting range. Well, thanks, Rhea. Uh, I'm here with Brogan, uh, Brogan Barney, who also works down at Jorgensen's. And you know, for every decade of life you're in, you can have a friend in the uh, gun department at uh, Jorgensen's because they've got guys of all ages working there, which tells me that guns are pretty universally interesting. Yep. So we're going to do the history part here. Have you ever seen one of these before? Yes, an M1. No, this is actually older than that. This is a 1917. This is a World War I issue gun. It was replaced by the M1. Back in World War I, it was an entirely different thing. This was your clip right here. When it was time to load, you pick the gun up with your speed loader, set the clip right in here, and you just push down on the bullets. And they were better at it than I am because I didn't get them all the way in. So I'm going to just kind of pop these out here real quick. And I'm going to let you load that speed loader. Set it in there and push down on the bullets. You actually did better than I did. Good job. So the safety's over here. Yeah, I'm going to let you take the first shot. Me? All right. Yep. So you notice that you really have to kind of manhandle yep. it? What do you think? That's a fun gun. That is a fun gun. Anyway, right now it's time for us to get away from here and go off to our along the way. This is so much fun. You know, it's just not a bad way to spend a day on a gun range. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're down in Richfield at the gun range just on the north side of I-70, along with Todd from uh, Jorgensen's uh, I was going to say power sports, but it really is. It Jorgensen's. is a power sport. That's a power sport. <laughs> yeah, I guess that really probably is. High power. Yeah. So, Todd, let's talk about the rest of the scorecard. How did we do on safety today? You guys, you know, for the basics, I mean, muzzle control, obviously, you want to be pointed up, away from other shooters, either downrange, at the ground, in the air, like I'm doing. We had a couple of jams. So we, we practiced uh, clean, clearing a jam safely, which yeah. you guys did great on that. Yeah. Um, clean up, obviously we've still got a little bit more to do, but yeah. that's one of the biggest things. Is that this is public, open to everybody. If we want to keep using it, let's pick it up, pick up when we're done. Yeah. Well, we have one more chore to do. It's called cleaning the guns because you always want your gun clean when you first use it for lots of reasons, one of which is you never know when you're going to need it. So we're going to head back to Jorgensen's and get a few pointers on that. Right now we're going to do some house cleaning for you. It's our Trail of the Week. This week's Trail of the Week is the Orange Trails, which are located in Emory County and begin in the town of Green River. To get more information, including 360 street views from this or any of the other trails that have been completed on the Trail 360 project, visit the Outsiders.Zone. Now let's take a peek at next week's show. Next week, Kevin and Gina get a fun-filled weekend with trail rides, ATV games, and great food, and amazing people at the 2020 Paiute UTV Jamboree. Then we're off to visit a beautiful section of the Arapine Trail as we join our friends from San Pete County on another off-road adventure. Finally, what do you do when they cancel your party on a holiday? So the answer, make your own. We'll find out as we visit with the Yardleys in their hometown of Beaver, Utah. Well, next week's show looks great. It does indeed. But you want to keep your gun looking great. The one thing we didn't cover today, we said we were going to do is, how do you clean your new gun? Because right. I'm not going to do this for you. No, I know <laughs> you're not, and I don't want you to. Okay. So it's all good. So Todd, you're going to show me. Okay, not a problem. Again, not only is this gun really easy to operate, it's also just as easy to clean. Okay. So obviously, first things first, always whenever you pull a gun out of a case or hand it to somebody, first thing we want to do, is check it. So we're good, we're empty. So there's two pins on this gun that hold the whole thing together. 
The handle we had you pulling earlier to charge the gun, the charging handle to fire it, has two parts that come out with it. Usually what we'll do is we'll just give this a good cleaning, good rub down. Same thing with your charging handle. Your barrel is you take your rod and you run it down the barrel. And you leave it on there. Yeah, so now. Now you just pull it through. Now you just pull. So after you clean your gun, get it all reassembled. Obviously keep in mind muzzle control. Always check the gun even after you've cleaned it. Safety's on, it's ready for the next trip. Excellent. I want to thank you, Todd, for all the, your help today in getting this thing up and rolling and getting awesome. Rhea. Thanks, so, guys. Thanks, especially for fun. the cleaning so that she knows how to clean it. All yeah. I think she's going to have trouble pulling that cable through. No, I'm not. I oh, got yeah. guns, Buster. You have real guns. That's yeah. true. Yeah. If ah. not, she knows a guy now. That's true. <laughs> I do. Anyway. I do. You're great. Thank as you. As we always say, there's adventure around every bend. You just have to get out there and create your own adventure at, at your, your leisure. leisure. <laughs> All right. I've got to clean mine now. Yes. Yeah, you do.